What's going on? This is Chris from Enter Shikari, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. This is Ralph from Enter Shikari, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and we're at the rickshaw with Enter Shikari, and we have Rao, and we have Chris. Uh, could you please state your uh, role in the band? Yeah, uh, I, well, I play bass. I sing and do electronics. You guys got uh, a flash flood of color. Um, it's coming okay. out. It'll be out January 9th. And uh, let's see, could you tell us about some of the recording process about the uh, the album and that? Yeah, sure. Um, we went went over to Thailand, actually, which was amazing. Um, it was a wonderful studio. In the, basically, it was one complex, basically. So, you know, we were sleeping there. We'd wake up there. There was a pool there and state-of-the-art studio. So we just had nothing to distract us other than, you know, getting the, getting the music done. Um, and actually, you know, it's, the album's actually been put back an, an extra week, so it's now um, j January 16th, isn't it? So that's only just happened. So. Okay. Great. Now, what made you choose to record in Thailand was... We just got offered it, offered basically our, our uh, producer that we were using in London, near the sky, who just built the state-of-the-art studio in the middle of nowhere uh, near Bangkok, and um, he was trying to get some... Uh, like Western bands over to use it and uh, offered us a really good deal at the, at the time we were doing it in you know kind of grotty area of London we were just like yep Thailand yep, that's good let's go <laughs> nice studio yeah it was amazing really, really one of the uh, first songs off the album is called System uh, do you want to give us maybe the fans a little heads up of what that, that song would be about or uh, you know, what it sounds like at all sure um, well it's it kind of introduces all the themes lyrically and it's a it's a very uh, kind of epic slowly building track it really sort of creates the tension um, before the album sort of proper, probably kicks in like the second track's called Meltdown so this kind of one piece um, and yeah it's, it was started off as like a, a kind of a string composition um, then we added yeah the, the kind of backbone of the band to the, to the music and there's just basically a, a big long poem which um, is, is the spoken word kind of lyrics over the top? Perfect. Now, is this more of a is this kind of a concept album that you guys are putting out, or like are the songs sort of interrelated, or are they mixed together like that? Uh, not really. I mean, it's it's the same same kind of outlook really as the as the other stuff. So there's no like uh, sort of central theme theme through the album. It, you know, explores all different sorts of topics and stuff. So. Now we've heard Sneak Pit. Uh, released there and that uh, at the beginning it kind of starts with that techno almost like a rap feel and it gets into the hit real heavy um do you guys what did you did a member of the band think of that or do you guys think of that collectively uh, how did that sort of beginning um come about um you know i think i mean like snake pits probably the, the, the only track on the album that has like that real divide between straight up like drum and bass and then it drops completely into a completely different genre. The rest of the tracks are all very uh, more integrated uh, basically but um, I mean like we had, we had the main riff which we'd been jamming around with and Ratton had done a lot of production on um, basically just like de demoing the, the drum and bass stuff before and it just worked so well together so yeah very cool riff on that it's very catchy you listen to that a lot it's, it's a really good very good song um now there's an, another song in there that uh, you guys have been playing live uh, arguing with thermometers notice that you guys have been playing that live for, for a bit with snake pit are you guys uh, are those sort of two of the new songs that you're going to be playing uh in your sets uh, coming up once the album's released and that keep staples for your live show um well at the moment Snake Pit and Arguing are the only two songs we've actually played properly together. Um, we haven't actually had time to, to practice and kind of translate the albums from a recorded version to a live version yet. Uh, sorry, the songs. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of work to do over kind of Christmas and New Year to to practice all the new stuff and get it ready to play. Yeah, I've noticed that with your with your songs, they're very intricate. They got you know lots of different uh, uh, synths and stuff in them. So, how long does it uh, take to sort of convert them into the live sound? Do you guys just pick say three or four you want to do in the tour and mix them up, and then you got to have to sort of make them into the live style? Um, well, I mean, electronics takes quite a while because you've got to kind of work out what you're going to play, what's going to be sequenced, um, and how the Kind of the electronics are going to relay with the bass because there's a lot of MIDI involved. So 
it's a bit of a, a head fuck, but you know, just knuckle down and get there eventually. Yeah, have you ever guys? Uh, do you guys ever play any videos behind your songs, or have you things like that to correspond with as the song's playing in the background to to because yeah. Like you play live and you have the song sequenced too, because the one thing I noticed about your music is that, that it would suit that. It would be a really interesting combination. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> we don't actually have anything sequenced like with the, with the music. What we do do is every every time we take out different production, we like to put a different spin on things. So we've had video walls behind us before um, when we've been able to do it in venues in the UK, and that's worked really well. Um, we've recorded footage and things like that to to play behind it. Um, and as well, um, but yeah, more recently we've just been really working on just like a massive, massive intense light show. That's what our last tour was uh, focused around. Cool. That's why I like your music. It makes you think, uh, think a bit, you know, it's not just uh, straightforward all the time. Now, on your Facebook, it's, um, it, it, you guys are going to be putting out a DVD. Um, now, what could we expect on the DVD? You guys, it's live stuff, behind the scenes <laughs> stuff, uh, you know, studio stuff? Uh, a bit of everything. It's got um, us chatting about the... Uh, the songs, uh, what they mean, how they're created and stuff. Then we've got loads of footage from Thailand um, and then we've got some footage from a show in London that we did about a month ago. So, yeah, a bit nice. Can't wait to see that. Can't wait. Um, and uh, yeah, so we uh, one of the uh, one of our listeners, uh, RZ Baker, wants to know if you guys will be playing Warp Tour, Sonosphere or Download. You guys got anything like that planned coming up? Uh, well, we the last two summers we've been out on warp tours, so I think next time we're going to give it a miss this, uh, this time coming around. Because, uh, but yeah, hopefully we're going to be doing a lot more UK and, and European festivals. So you know, download maybe. We, we, they haven't started booking any bands, I don't think. So as soon as uh, we hear. Actually, what do you guys got for your um, uh, sort of sh your plans between at the end of this year and the beginning of next year? Are you just focusing on the new album, and are you guys got any rest coming up, or what's your sort of short-term plans? Well, the time that was built in the schedule for rest is probably going to be taken up with practicing. So, uh, yeah, it was just just loads of that over Christmas, um, and then next year we just start to go around the world again. Um, we've got a a few tours lined up, uh, loads of summer festivals. So it should be cool. Good. good. Are you guys going to be coming up to the Pacific Northwest? You know, for a summer festival at all? California, Seattle? Not sure what we're doing festivals-wise, but we've got a. Um, a North American tour coming up next year, which starts here at the end of March and goes right through till mid-May, I think like that. But um, yeah, the dates haven't been announced yet. We're still settling them in and uh, getting the bill together, really. So, oh, Excellent. Okay, that's great. Uh, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and this is Rao, and this is Chris from Enter Shikari, and thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a CD review of the new Opeth album called Heritage. <laughs>